optimistic about um, what could happen in the future, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, well, thank you, and thank you for being a yeah, an you. intern. Right? <laughs> we, we pay them four dollars an hour. It's a pretty good job. So. <laughs> yeah. Here, come in here. Come. Okay. It's dark. I'll turn the lights on. All right. Oh this, wow! This is, this is you. Yeah. This is our whisper room, and what we do here is we record our podcast. And four days a week, we have a direct. ISDN line into Hawaii Public Radio, the conversation with Beth Ann Kozlovich and Chris Vandercook. So we do that live four times a week. I do a podcast of my own called The Pod Squad. And here we've also been recording our offshore series, award-winning podcast series, Race, Politics, Native Hawaiians. So we went ahead and purchased this nearly soundproof uh, studios to do all our work here because the, the buses can be really noisy along Wailai Avenue. Oh, great. So what is your topic here you're doing? Well, uh, th there's no topic right here, but today Stuart was on. That was him eating over there. You probably had him in the background. And he was talking about a rail again. What's the better route to go? Is it the general excise tax? Is it the transit accommodation tax? Do we look at property taxes? And his story looks in particular how GET is regressive. And it hurts a lot of the more lower income, middle income folks. And so maybe that's not the best way to go. But we'll let the legislature decide that. Uh, I'm for the hotels paying for it. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, let's go out here and see. <laughs> show you more. Yes, please. Now, what kind of a meeting is this going to? Well, Hi. now this you're the one that was doing the podcast. Is that it? It's, you said I. He was on the radio with HPR today. Yes. Hi. hi. I was on the radio. And with your name HPR. is. My name's Stuart Yurton. Yes. And so you're doing the podcast and about the. The what the special session will do? Yes, it was. Uh, we looked at taxes. We looked at taxes. The three taxes they're talking about using to raise money for rail, and the <clears throat> point of this story was really to discuss. There's no perfect way. Each of these taxes has a problem associated with it. Um, you have the general excise tax, which is um, it is. It is sort of hidden, so people don't really realize it, but it's also very unfair. It's a regressive tax, the most regressive. You've got the uh, property tax, which is less regressive, but people will see it more clearly as on their uh, bill. And finally, you've got the hotel tax, the transient and accommodation tax, and that's on our big industry. The tax is already high, so the legislature is going to have a tough decision to make. And that's what I wrote about, and that's what I talked about uh, today. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. uh, right, the right yes, this way. Right. <laughs> where all the magic happens. Okay. Now, this used to be um, so, so Ariana Huffington. Yes. This isn't actually her. <laughs> you can tell, right? Yes. Um, but um, she's been here a couple of times back when she and our publisher had a partnership. They since moved on, but. Uh, we like to keep Ariana around just to keep us honest. And speaking of people that are cutouts, come in here. I'll share with another one. This is Mayor Caldwell. Can oh dear. A, is that good light? Is it light? It's, it's too dark, isn't it? Yeah, let's get it back here. Yeah. You know, you can see. Basically, the mayor uh, declined our invitation to interview during the election last year, and so uh, we interviewed Charles DeJou. But the mayor decided he didn't want to do a video interview, so we just sh took him around town in various places and videotaped him. And the mayor actually told me later that he thought it was kind of funny. Uh, I said, well, you should have gone live, because that's what we're all about. But anyway, we have our creativity here at Civil Beat. <laughs> okay, what's next? next? Let's see who these people are talking to Patty sure. over here. We, we talked to Patty. This is Jim Simon. Where's Jim? Oh. Where's Jim? Hi. Jim's the managing editor. Hi. Nice to We've met once yes, before. We have. Nice to now, meet what, you. Now, what is it that a managing editor does? I'm still trying to figure that out <laughs> because we have a lot of unmanageable people like Chad. That's me. Uh, <laughs> no, I uh, help oversee the news operation and set some of our long term priorities, edit a lot of stories. And Civil Beat is the kind of place where everybody um, sort of chips in and does a lot of different sorts of things. Uh, but I get involved in helping develop stories, 
edit stories, work with reporters, um, and help Patty set some of our long-term strategy and priorities.